Well, we talked about doing him in an entirely different show for a while. I mean, he'd be a judge, he'd be this, he'd be that. Nothing seemed to fit very well that what we were doing. And we said, wait a minute, he's been fired from, from the radio station. Wouldn't it be interesting to put him back in the, the uh, newspaper world where he'd come from, get him back into that world? And then, just about, just about that time, all the, all the President's Men came out, the, the, the movie, which won all those awards. And, and it was, showed a lot about how, uh, how the newspaper world really worked, about how reporters really worked, and about how, how the city room worked and all that. We thought it was fascinating to us. We thought this this would be interesting if we could do this and get it right. You know, it would really be an interesting place to put it. But it's not a half hour; it's got to be an hour. So immediately it became less of a comedy. Although we always intended for it to have some comic edge to it, a little bit of a comic edge. Jim and I uh, went to Gene Reynolds, who was then finishing was maybe in his I don't know, fifth, sixth, seventh year of producing MASH, and we found out that he was a little unhappy with 20th Century Fox, who was doing MASH, something about ownership, or Fox was being its usual frugal self and not paying anybody what they really deserve, except the actors. And we got Gene at a weak moment when he was really mad at Fox and said, why don't you come over and do the show with us? Uh, with Ed, and we'll do a show about newspapers, and he got really turned on to that idea. So he sent us back to do our homework, as as he also did, uh, interviewing reporters for months and going to newspapers all over the country and finding out how newspapers really worked, and uh, doing a tremendous amount of research. Uh, but we always meant for the show to be sort of light drama. And I think in a lot of ways it was, but there, we did some pretty heavy ones too along the way. But I think it confused people at first that, that what is this, a comedy or a drama? And they didn't quite know, and CBS didn't quite know. And they wanted us to make, I remember having to go to CBS with, them, with Grant uh, while they were reading us the riot act that the show was getting very low ratings. It, it really was. It, it was pretty near the bottom of the Nielsen, and we were wasting this great character, and but couldn't we at least make him more like Kojak? I mean, he was a newspaper guy, and couldn't we get him out on the street, and couldn't he sock people now and then? And you know, that just not the way it's done, you know? That's not the way newspaper editors work. He said, well, make him a reporter. And I said, well, reporters don't go out socking people either, you know? Let's, let's be real here. So, uh, Grant really backed us up on that one, and he said, uh, uh, the guys I think are doing a great job, and the audience will eventually come to it, and, and just leave it on. You, you don't have a lot of choices. You have a lot of holes in your schedule right now. Leave it where it is, and, and the audience will find it. And uh, that's exactly what happened. The audience did find it.